Unlocking the mystery of, that rings a bell. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're going to unravel the meaning behind a commonly used phrase, that rings a bell. Have you ever heard someone say this and wondered what bell they're talking about? Well, you're in for a treat as we explore its meaning, origin, and how you can use it in your daily conversations. Let's get started. When someone says, that rings a bell, they're not talking about an actual, physical bell. Instead, this phrase is a figurative way of saying that something sounds familiar or reminds them of something, but they might not remember the exact details. It's like when you hear a song that you think you've heard before, but you can't quite place where or when. That feeling of vague recognition? That's what this phrase is all about. The phrase, that rings a bell, has an interesting history. While its exact origins are a bit murky, it's believed to be linked to the way bells have been used throughout history to grab attention, signal the start of something, or remind people of events. In the context of memory, the idea is that hearing something rings a mental bell, triggering a sense of familiarity or recall, much like how a bell can remind you it's time for a specific action or event. Understanding how to use that rings a bell in conversation can help you sound more fluent and natural in English. Here are a few examples. In recalling a person, you mentioned John Smith that name rings a bell. Did he go to our high school? While discussing a movie or a book, the plot you're describing definitely rings a bell. I think I've seen that movie before. During a brainstorming session, this idea rings a bell. I'm sure we've discussed something similar in one of our previous meetings. These examples show that the phrase can be used in various contexts where you want to express that something feels familiar or recalls a memory, even if the details are not completely clear. Now that you know what, that rings a bell, means and how to use it, try incorporating it into your own conversations. Start by thinking of situations from your past that suddenly feel relevant or familiar because of a discussion a story, or an image. Practice saying the phrase out loud in sentences like the examples we covered. Remember, the best way to get comfortable with new phrases is to use them. And there you have it. You're now ready to use, that rings a bell, in your English conversations, adding a layer of nuance to how you express recognition and memory. We hope this video has been informative and helps you feel more confident in your English language journey. Don't forget to practice, and as always, happy learning! See you in our next video where we'll explore more fascinating aspects of the English language.